This is a film about a tree which improves livelihoods. A tree that produces a crop that can sell for cash. A tree that produces nutritious young and ripe fruit to eat. This is a film about the jackfruit tree. Veneer grafting is done on rootstock that has been raised from a jackfruit seed. It is ready when 9 to 15 months old and approximately 1 cm in diameter. In general, rootstocks have a long taproot when grown from seed. The stem of the rootstock should be cleaned of any saw or debris. A shallow cut is made, about 6 to 8 cm into the rootstock slanting inwards to about a quarter of the diameter of the stem at the point of active growth. A short second downward oblique cut should then be made at the base of the first incision, removing a piece of bark and wood. Working in a shaded location, the freshly severed scions can then be unwrapped. A scion, selected from a similar diameter to the rootstock, is then cut, long and shallow, each side to match that made to the rootstock. When cutting the scion and rootstock, the cut should be done in one stroke to provide a smooth exposed surface. When the two are put together, they should fit as one. After, they should be quickly bound with polythene tape, ensuring that the joint is covered before they have time to dry out, otherwise the union may fail. A polythene bag to reduce transpiration and loss of moisture then covers the cut portion, including the scion. The ends are then bound with twine and the union should heal in about three to four weeks. The grafted rootstocks then remain in the shade. Water that accumulated in the polythene bag should be removed every alternate day by opening the lower end or taken off to release the water, then replaced. During the early stages of the grafting process, any growth on the rootstock portion should be removed as it is seen. When the graft is healed, the polythene tape used in the tying of the union can be removed. And when the new leaves develop, the plants can be transferred to an open nursery and watered regularly. The grafts remain in the nursery for about a year, following which they can be sold or planted out into the field.